Hi friends. You may remember a couple of months ago I did a review of a Luminary Smart Bird Feeder camera. And uh, I'm going in here to fill it. It's been a source of uh, a lot of pleasure for us for going on three months. But uh, I'm going out to fill it and I'll give you an update on something about the Luminary, Luminary Bird Feeder Company. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. It's about 45 degrees out here. It was 26 when I got up at 7.30 this morning and the fountain was just totally full of icicles. The bird feeder needs some filling. I keep my bird seed in this bucket. It keeps the squirrels, the skunks, and the foxes from getting into the bucket. And before I started putting the lid on permanently, they sure did like doing that. Hey, Havelina. Don't... He's going to get it open. Yeah, I popped, popped the lid off one of my bins in the barn. You, skunk pig, get out of my bird feed bucket. Okay. Did you get Did we get what? He's still there. Get out? Yeah. Having to fill this about, oh, maybe every 10 days. That is now that the squirrel has decided to hibernate. I haven't seen the squirrel for a while. Um, we were having to fill it a lot more. There we go. Good for another week or 10 days. So, why are we gonna talk about this today? <laughs> the Luminary Company liked the video I did back in October. It's now January. And uh, they contacted me and asked me if I wanted the new upgraded model. And they sent it to me. And wait till I show you what it has that this one doesn't. We've loved this one, but wait till you see the new one. Okay, here we go. Now, if you need an unboxing video on how to get into a cardboard box... I'm not your guy. <laughs> this is the new one. The last one that we just went and looked at was Luminary Smart Bird Feeder Cam. And this one is Smart Bird Feeder Cam Pro. And the difference is, let me show you. Hummingbird feeders. These forks here you can put fruit on. I saw a picture with an apple and an orange. And these are reservoirs for hummingbird syrup. And of course that goes right on there like that. Now there's a whole box full of stuff for mounting it. And a tripod mount. And templates for putting the screws in and all the screws and brackets. I did a review of this two months ago and I'm going to include a couple of minutes of that explaining all of the things about this bird feeder. But the new one and the reason they sent it to me is this right here. The new hummingbird feeder that makes it work for all the birds not just the birds that we have here. Uh, I'm going to put this together, I'm going to fill it up, and I'm going to put it over there with the other one so that they see each other. Now, back in October, we had a lot of birds. We don't have quite as many birds here, we still have a lot of them, but uh, we have different birds. This is going to be fun. I've used all of the mounts and things in this box, putting it in different places in the yard. Uh, this morning, you know, I had it uh, 
strapped to the tree with this thing. Had it strapped out here this morning though. Heavy duty Velcro strap would go around a tree twice that size. Great mount. Um, several days ago I had this thing up on that wire fence with all of these hose clamps. Got an assortment of different sized hose clamps. All of that's working great. It's currently on my camera tripod with the tripod mount that came in the box. The tripod doesn't come with it. This comes with it, which really surprised me when I got it out of the box and figured out what it was. It's just a standard um, tripod mount, camera tripod. Just clicks on there like that. that. And then I can move it around and try it in different places. This is a very adjustable mount for the solar panel that keeps it charged. Whatever angle you need to get to the sun. What else we got in the box? Oh, stainless steel screws and um, those things that keep them from coming out of the wall if you're going to mount it permanently. There's another different size hose clamp. What's this? A template in case you are going to mount it perfectly. Where are you going to put the screws? And of course, an owner's manual. But let's see what it says on the box here. Uh, full color night vision. 160 wide view angle. A hummingbird. <laughs> Uh, it'll hold up to 1.8 pounds. Supports a micro SD card, two-way audio, IP65 waterproof, live stream video, and motion detection. And I've had all of these things working here for several days, and we're having a ball. Well, this is our setup. We have the two Lumary smart bird feeders looking at each other. We've got uh, bird feed, hummingbird juice, sun on the solar panels, everything but birds. They'll come in a minute as soon as I get out of the way. And you. Well, this is pretty exciting. The first bird we see is this beautiful red cardinal. We didn't see him in October when we were first having this one that he's on. This is the Lumiere Smart Bird Feeder camera. The one on the other side there is the new Pro model with the fruit forks and the hummingbird feeders. This is the acorn woodpecker. They sometimes hang on the bottom like they're doing there. They're hanging underneath and then they do that to the hummingbird feeders too and suck the sap out. I'm going to show you why they call them acorn woodpeckers. We have a good example of why. We're not really fans of the acorn woodpeckers, and I'm going to show you why. Look at the corner of the building up there. And now let's go see why they call them acorn woodpeckers. You see that pole there? pole is totally full of woodpecker holes. I mean totally full. It goes all the way to the top and it's all the way around. <laughs> yeah, there's a woodpecker over there named Peter. I got it. <laughs> I thought you were over there. <laughs> so, why do they call them acorn woodpeckers? sunshine that you can see real good. Acorn woodpeckers. They take the acorns and put them in here. I said all the holes were full. They're not all full because they come back and eat them. There's one in there. I'm reminded of when my daughter was like five years old and we asked her, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hey, Lynn, 
Do you remember when Becky was like five years old and we asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up? I distinctly remember she wanted to be a woodpecker. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> We've had it set up this way for a couple of days now, and we're getting good pictures on the original feeder number one. Feeder number two, the new one, isn't getting much action. And when it does, it's little birds that are sitting off to the side. There isn't room for the big birds to sit there with the hummingbird feeders in the way. And the little birds... Um, they don't uh, get fully in the picture either because they're sitting off to the side. We do have a javelina problem around here. These skunk pigs, there's about 15 of them around here right now. There are three of them in this video. And the video, of course, is taken by the Luminary Smart Bird Feeder. We are shining headlamps around here and chasing them out of the yard. But uh, great pictures taken by the bird feeder. I decided I didn't like them looking at each other. And... Uh, the one without the hummingbird feeders was getting most of the action, so we turned them this way. And we'll just let the birds decide which ones they like. We're still getting some action on feeder number one, but feeder number two, the new one, doesn't seem to be their favorite. Beautiful red cardinal. And we're going to name him Jimmy, because... If you listen real carefully, you can hear Jimmy Crack Corn. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. My nest is gone away. Crack it, Jimmy. And we got a little bird at the other one. I'm going to try something different here. Not getting any action on this one. I've taken the fruit forks off and moved the hummingbird syrup reservoirs out here to the front to give the bird more room to stand here. Uh, I don't think I mentioned before, there's also a water thing there. So a bird can get a drink of water if they want. We'll see if that makes any difference. Well, that seemed to help a little bit. Um, the bird has a little more room to stand, and this is the best bird picture we've gotten on this feeder number two in three days. We took the other feeder away. Decided it's not fair to be competing with a bird feeder that the birds have gotten used to for three months, the location and everything. Set it up here by the fountain, which is where the action always is. And hopefully we'll get more action on the new bird feeder. I'm trying real hard to get a good test of this new Lumeri Smart Bird Feeder Pro with the water trough. The hummingbird reservoirs and the fruit um, forks. But you have to understand, it's January. We don't have as many birds around. But we do have birds. I sit over here in my RV. I have uh, bird feeders there. And I'm getting a hummingbird there a couple times a day, maybe. Uh, they're loving the suet they're hanging on that pecking it you can see those reservoirs are half empty i filled them a couple of days ago that's a brown creeper hanging on the suet block there the others are sparrows and uh, house finches a lot of little birds around, but big birds too. Well, I left the door open and speaking of birds,
there's one right there. Don't be afraid. Don't fly and hit the mirror. And don't crap in my bed. Yeah, there you go. Out, 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 out. Oh, did it go out? I think it did. Thanks for visiting. Well, while we're waiting for some action on the new setup, I'm going to insert here uh, a minute or two from my review back in October when I was talking about the real capabilities of these Lumiere smart bird feeders with regard to the Wi-Fi and the identification of birds. My phone beeps, got a message, motion detected by the Lumiere bird feeder, I switched to my iPad because my old eyes like bigger pictures, but you can do this on your Android phone or even on your Windows uh, computer. The Vico Home app uh, works on any of those formats. And I hit history down here and I get all of these 20 second videos. Now you can set it for longer or shorter than 20 seconds, but I set it at 20. And then you tap on the picture And it loads that picture, and you can watch the 20-second video, or however long you've set it for. Now, with the identification, if you tap here, it gives you some choices. In this case, it's correctly identified this as a pyroloxia. Thought it might have been a cross cassia crossbill or a house crow, and it gives you percentages. It's 97% sure that it's a Pyroloxia. And then if you tap on that, it gives you a description. The Pyroloxia or Desert Cardinal is a medium sized North American songbird, etc., etc., American Southwest, Northern Mexico. And then if you click down here, it takes you to Wikipedia. I'm learning a lot. But this is fun, watch this. You know, it has two-way audio, so you can hear what's going on there, but they can also hear you. Watch this. Hey, squirrel. Hey, you. Ah, adios. Well, this is a live shot, and it's early in the morning. The sun's not quite right, but um, I wanted to show you a few things about the live picture. You see, we this is live, and there's the date, and you see it counting down the time. 10 o'clock in the morning. And if that's the button you hold, like when I yelled at the squirrel, you push that, you can talk to it. Over here, if you push this button, now it starts, it's counting the seconds that it's taking video. And you touch it again, it stops and takes the video to your camera roll. This one is a um, screenshot to your camera roll. This one down here turns the mic on and off. Live shot. Now it's all automatic by the motion sensor and it saves video clips for you. But if you want to look at it live, there you go. Works that way too for live streaming. We are getting a little more action now that we aren't competing with another bird feeder. Question has come up, which one would I order? The original one that we had or the new Pro model with the Hummingbird feeders? Well, I'd order the new one because the Hummingbird feeders are removable and different birds at different times of the year. You know, it's not really Hummingbird season here right now. I'm sure that uh, we could re remove those things and then it's just like the original one. Put the Hummingbird feeders on there when it's Hummingbird season. And different birds eat the fruit, you know. Sometimes you want the fruit, sometimes you don't. But uh, the new Pro model has options. Doesn't mean you have to have them on there all the time. Finally got room for the Cardinal. Well, my final test, I'm leaving the water dish there, but I'm taking the hummingbird feeders away to see if I can make room for bigger birds. 
Well, I don't call this a big bird, but even his long tail would have been hitting the accessories if they were there. And I think he's enjoying a place to perch. Uh, the genius of the design is that that red perch is a place to perch, not a place to put accessories. And finally, we have room for my favorite bird here, the curved billed thrasher. Love that orange eye. You got a beak like that, you got a handle, you have to have room to perch. So what do I think of the new Lumiere Smart Bird Feeder Camera Pro? <laughs> I like it. I like it because it's the Lumiere Bird Feeder Smart Camera, and we're having a great deal of enjoyment out of that. As far as the Pro goes, yeah, why not? It's good to have options, even if you don't use them for every season. Having them is good. Links below if you want your own bird feeder. And thank you so much to the 16 people who bought this just before Christmas through my affiliate links and my own Amazon link. And thank you for the feedback telling me how much you're enjoying them also. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.